Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God wherever you are. My name is Pastor John Gaho and today I want us to share the word of God. I want us to share the word of Jehovah. And I believe that wherever you are, as you watch this uh, sermon online, be it at you in Pika, be it at you in Nairobi, wherever or whichever part of this country, wherever you are, I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Today we are not in a hurry because God has done something very wonderful. God has provided us with ample internet and therefore I believe that today you are going to hear the word of God and the message of today is all about peace. I would like to ask you, do you have peace? Are you lacking peace? If you are lacking peace, then Pastor John Gaho have a message for you today and I believe that by the end of this sermon you will be a blessed person you will be a person who have moved to the next level if you are lacking peace by the end of this sermon i assure you that you'll be having peace let me sit down so that we can um, start sharing uh, the word of god and uh, as you know before starting uh, this sermon it's good that we do pray i can see someone by the name maruko esna thank you maruko esna for watching this live broadcast from wherever you are and i pray that may God bless you as you continue watching this sermon. So let's start by prayer. Father, we come before you. We thank you because of this session that you've given unto us. Father Lord, I'm blessing each and every person from whichever corner of this world this person is watching us from, oh God. Thank you, Father, for making me to be your servant, oh Jesus. Thank you, Father, for preparing a word that I'm going to manifest and to give unto your people, O Jehovah. Father, Lord, look at these people who are watching this sermon with Jesus. Wherever they are, some of them are at work, some of them are in the office, others are in their homes, O Jesus, together with their families, O Jesus. Father, Lord, today you've given me a message to talk about peace. I know, Lord Jesus, before the end of this sermon, somebody will be blessed. Thank you, Father. Come and help me. Let whatever I'm going to speak out of my mouth, let it not be from me, but from you, O oh God. Surround me with your angels, O oh Jesus. Let each and every one that I speak, let it have power. Let it have blessings over the person who's watching. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we do pray, trust, and believe in Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. God bless you. So we are going to start with a worship, and this worship song is very simple. You've ever heard a, a song known as Hakuna Mungu Mwingine? Hakuna Mungu Mwingine Aliye Kama We. So we are going to start with this song, and I believe that you are going to be, to be Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Nataka uangalie nchi yetu ya Kenya yale mambo ambayo ni magumu ambayo tunapitia. Najua kuna watu wengi ambao hawana makazi. Najua kuna kampuni nyingi ambazo zimefungwa. Najua kuna watu ambao sasa hivi wanalala njaa. Najua kuna watu wengi sasa hivi mabwana zao wametoroka kwa sababu wanashindwa wasaidie bibi zao namna gani. Najua kuna wale watu wako pale mtu single mother Watoto wake wanamtegemea lakini sasa hivi hana la kufanya. Lakini kama vile tumemwimbia Mungu na tumemwambia kwamba hakuna Mungu mwingine isipokuwa yeye, hata kama imefika wakati na umekosa amani. Siku ya leo nimekuja ni kuambia ya kwamba kile kilio unalia kila wakati. Wakati umekaa kwako unajiuliza sasa nitaenda wapi? Unajiuliza sasa nitafanya nini? Hicho kilio unalia Mungu ambaye hakuna mwingine ila itu yule Mungu ambaye anaishi juu mbinguni he is going to listen unto you and he is going to answer your prayer it doesn't matter whether we have corona doesn't matter whatever situation that we are in but our living god is going to come and is going to give us peace i want us to look at our topic today and i've said that the topic of today is all about lacking peace and I tell you, a person who have lacked peace is a person who have lost hope. I hope, my viewer, wherever you are, you have not reached a point of losing hope. Even if you have not reached that point of losing hope, maybe you are lacking peace in one way or the other. I want us to read in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God be careful for nothing the Bible is telling us you should be very vigilant you should not keep asking yourself questions why is this happening why am I not like Fulani why am, is my business not doing well while the other person's business is doing well why is my life just going down while my friend's life is doing well? The Bible is telling you, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication 
with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. It's very simple, my sister. You might be lacking peace. You might be asking yourself so many questions. You might be asking the reason as to why your life is running or is the way it is. But the Bible is telling us, just be careful. Put everything before God. Let Him understand every situation that you're going through. Let him, him know every need that you have in your life. Whatever you require, whatever trouble you are going through, the Bible is telling you, let it be known to God through prayer and supplication. Jehovah is watching you. God is waiting to hear from you. I would like you to just touch your small organ, that is the tongue. God gave you that organ not only to be tasting food, but so that you can be to tell you what you are, it is good, it is good to keep praying, it is good to keep telling God, Jehovah, I need peace, Jehovah, I need a strong family. I am talking about lacking peace. I know most of you people, most of the Kenyans, most of the people all over the world doesn't have peace. No one has peace. Everyone is wearing masks because of the virus of Corona. Everyone is asking himself or herself questions. What will happen next? Other people are saying maybe it is the end of the world. Other people are saying no one will be left other people are saying, as it happened in 1918, where 50 million people died all over the world, maybe this is going to happen even now. Where am I going to be after this pandemic? People don't have peace. Someone there is looking at the family, and it's not having peace because the family doesn't have a hope of tomorrow. Because maybe you are the only breadwinner in that family. But the Bible is telling us that whatever you want, put it before God in prayer and supplication. Whatever you need God to supplement you with, whatever you want God to give you, put it before Him in prayer. Let's look at um, Mark 4, Mark chapter 4, verse that 9. This is one time when the disciples of Jesus were in the deep seas. And the Bible says, Mark 4, Mark chapter 4, verse 39. This is when Jesus rebuked a storm. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. This is a time when the disciples of Jesus, together with Jesus, were in the sea moving to another city when they got into the in the boat jesus fell asleep the disciples went on pushing the boat toward the other end but when they got into the deep sea there was a storm the boat was hit from all corners and due to that they started screaming they started crying they started calling for help but look they were at the middle of the sea they were at the center of the deep seas even if they screamed no one could have come to their help no one could have rescued them they kept on crying they kept on getting water out of the boat but finally the storm was getting harder and harder Finally, they lacked a solution, and they saw their end. This is the time they remembered that we have somebody here, and the person is not even hearing our screaming. The person is not listening to our cries. He's just deep asleep. So one of the disciples went and awoke Jesus. When Jesus woke up, he just woke up and looked at the storm just woke up and looked at the disciples and he asked them my colleagues 
my friends what is this that is worrying you the reason is because Jesus knew the answer he knew that nothing is bigger than Jehovah that is the time Jesus just lifted up his hand and he told this storm, peace be with you immediately the storm ceased the storm stopped and the disciples were shocked they were amazed by what happened at that time immediately the trouble that the disciples were in came to an end doesn't matter my sister doesn't matter madam maruko doesn't matter madam anwerimu doesn't matter zipora kimani wherever you're watching from it doesn't matter what you're going through what matters is do you have jesus with you if the disciples never had jesus with them they could have died in the deep sea they could have died a very terrible death but because they had jesus with them they just remembered that jesus is here with us and that is the time that they called him and they told him jesus wake up and assist us and jesus told the storm peace be with you my question is it is true you don't have peace in life it is true we as kenyans we don't have peace in our nation yesterday i was looking at the tv watch, watching my tv and i saw in kawangwari we are having cases of coronavirus spreading in Isli, in Kiambu, in Mombasa, whichever part of this Kenya, we are having places, new coronavirus cases, and people are not having peace. Everyone is asking, maybe my colleague next to me is having coronavirus. Maybe my friend next to me is sleeping hungry and I don't have a solution to assist him or her. We don't have peace. Even if we don't have peace, now it is the time to remember that Jesus is here to save us. Jesus is here to do us favor. We are his sons and he is there to ask for victory on our behalf. My brother and my sister, I'm telling you, your peace is with you. And your peace is Jesus Christ. Your job is with you. And your job is Jesus Christ. Your health is there with you. And your health is Jesus Christ. Your family is there with you. And your family is with Jesus Christ. Your husband, your wife is there with you. And he is with Jesus Christ. That peace that is lacking in your life is with Jesus Christ. So it is very simple today. I want you to call Jesus. I want you to put all tr your troubles before him and he is going to listen unto you. He is going to wake up. He is going to listen unto you and he is going to move you out of the trouble that you are passing through. That is a fact. If your faith is up to that level, great things are going to happen unto you. If you believe in Jesus, miracle are going to happen in your life whatever obstacle is in your life it is going to be removed by God I believe in a faithful God I believe in a miraculous God sometimes I do see wonders and signs of Jehovah and I believe in this God when I look at my future at my that is at my past I used to pass through hard times I used to have nothing, but because of God, great things have happened into my life. Because of accepting Jesus to control my life, great things, miracles have been happening in my life. I have seen people doing great things through me as a, as a servant of God. And I tell you, today it is your day to have peace. Today it is your day. To rest and be happy today it is your day to speak and call for that peace in your marriage 
Today it is your day to speak for that good health. Today it is your day to speak for prosperity in your business. That is the fact. Jesus has everything. In John 16, chapter 23, the Bible says, Ask me, and I will request my Father to give it unto you. Remember, you are more worthy than the birds of the air. Just imagine. You are more worthy than the birds of the air. So whatever you need in your life, you just need to ask Jesus to give it unto you. Right now, I believe that wherever you are, as Jesus told one man, that go home and that person who is sick, even if he is far from me, you're going to find him healed. As Jesus did that miracle, I believe that by the end of today, the miracle that you want is going to be released unto your life. God is going to do wonderful things into your life. God is going to do a miracle into your life in the name of of your son Jesus Christ. I call you blessed. I call you mighty. I call you a victor. People have said that you'll be defeated. But I tell you as a man of God, you won't be defeated, you will defeat them. People have said that you'll die. But I tell you as a man of God, you will live long. People have said that you'll die poor. But I declare this in your life, that you'll be wealthy you will help them. People have turned to be your enemies, but I declare for you in your life, they will come searching for you for help in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. May your life change. May your life prosper. Thank you for watching this. And I tell you, if you never had peace, call Jesus and he's going to give you peace. Call Jesus and is going to give you everything that you need in your life. My name is Pastor John Gaho of Blessings Revival Center in Kegumo, Kiambu. If you want to reach me, maybe for prayers, for counseling, you can call me on 0715-619-700. I repeat, if you want to call me for prayers and for counseling, just reach me on 0715-619-700. Also be blessed as you support the work of God. I need bundles to preach to people. I need airtime to reach people. And God will bless you. Let's pray and believe that whatever you need in your life shall be done. Father, we come before you. We thank you this afternoon. Thank you because of my viewer, wherever he or she is, or Jesus. We have said that Jehovah... There is no other God other than you, Jehovah. We have said that Jesus, whatever we want, is from you. We are calling for your name to come and help us, O oh God. We call for you, Father, to come and do us great things. Lord Jesus, I speak for the life of this viewer, wherever she is or wherever he is. The person who needs good help, Father, may you give it unto her, may you give it unto him. This person is going hungry. May you, Father, provide this family with something to eat, something to drink. Someone is asking, where am I going to get rent from, O oh God? May you, Father, be the provider of this family. Someone is asking, what am I going to do tomorrow? May you, Father, provide a job to this person who doesn't have a job. Someone is asking, what am I going to do, O oh Jesus, to make sure that my family gets whatever they require? May you, Father, be the provider. You have told our Lord Jesus that we knock and it shall open for us. I have knocked the door for the blessings of this person. Father, may you give him or her the blessings that they require. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because of this nation. We pray for it, O oh Jesus. We believe that our lives are in your hands. Coronavirus is just a virus before you, God. It's just something very small before you. We are praying and we are requesting for your grace, for your mercy. May you, Father, help us. May you, Father, remove for us this virus out of our nation, out of this world. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We put you first in our lives. May you, Lord, change our lives to be good. May you, Father, stop our cries, O Jesus, and fill us with your happiness. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. I declare that whomever is watching this sermon 
on Facebook, oh Jesus, that he or she is blessed. I declare that his life or her life is changed from now. The problem that this person was having, oh God, I declare that those problems are diminished immediately in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. I call for your miracle, Jehovah. I call for your miracle, Jehovah. May the life of this person start changing now. May the life of this person start changing now in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Everybody who is watching this clip, oh Father, I call for your favor. May your favor be all over his life. May your favor be all over his business. May your favor be all over his family. May your favor be all over his family, friends, oh God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Whatever this person requires, whatever this person wants, whatever this person Person needs in life. May you, Father, be the provider now in the name of your Son Jesus Christ. I cover him or her with the blood of your Son Jesus Christ. I call for your angels to surround his life. In the name of your son Jesus Christ, I declare that everything is done. I declare that everything is achieved. And it is in the name of your son Jesus Christ that we do pray, trusting and believing. Amen. 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 Shalom. May God bless you. May God do the wonders. Keep watching uh, my, my, my programs on Facebook and see you next time. Maybe I'll be coming back in a few hours. May God bless you. Keep sharing that someone. Bless someone. And if you find someone is having a problem, refer them to Jesus Christ. May God bless you. May God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. God bless you.